sorry guys, it's kind of a long video, but open it up about 10 locks. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Joe from Average Joe Locksport. Got a couple packages in the mail today, as you can see. I got one from eBay and one from <clears throat> USA Hardware. So let's open them up and see what I got. This one, I think, is really going to be just a little something. Um, I think it's going to be just another plain old mortise cylinder. They forgot to send me one when I was ordering. I could be wrong, but let's see what they got in here. Actually, it is two mortise cylinders. And they both say uh, HQ lock mortar cylinder. And the other one says high quality mortar cylinder. And as you can see on the back, it says the same thing on both. So let's see what we got inside here. Yep. Just plain old mortar cylinder. Seem like the keys work. So that's one. And this I'm pretty sure is going to be the same exact thing. Which it is. Key seems to work. So there's two more to cylinders I received. And the eBay box is the one I've been waiting for. If it's what I think it is. So let's open up the eBay box. Make sure I'm not missing nothing in the box. Just the paperwork. Put that over on the side for now. And it is what I thought. This is... If I can get it open. This is my... Round... Cylinder... American Lock. With the chain on it see what we got for keys God, I got this thing wrapped up like it was a gold nugget bar. Yep, these are the keys.
And here are the American keys. See what we got. And it works. Seems to work okay. Seems to work okay. Kind of weird. You got to press it down and then turn the key to get the key back out. But this is the original old American lock with the stock chain on it. Okay, guys, that's it. Actually, when I ordered it, I ordered the brass lock. I was going to do that pick for Peter. But I dug out some of my other brass locks, my brass mortise cylinders, my brass euro cylinders. So again, the American lock. I'm looking for a model number. I should know it, but I don't. On the back, U.S. On the front, American lock with the flag. Again, the two standard keys. And the two HQ mortar cylinders. Okay, guys, that's it. Going to be a short one. Just wanted to show you my new couple of locks. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Other than that, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Hey, guys. <clears throat> what I did because this was such a long video. I just kind of fast forwarded it. I'm debating on putting this up or not, but I think I will. Again, I apologize for the lack of sound, but I just wanted to shorten up the video. So, here we go, back into the silent movie days.
Here's where I'm showing you the trap in the HQ. Just wanted to give you a little thumbs up on what I was doing. Showing you the regular pins and then showing you the holes for the trap pins. And like I said, I learned that the hard way. So, I think we're going to go to pick those now. And here's my American lock. Showing it off a little bit. And after that, we're going to go to the HQs, which are... The ones I was showing you with the trap holes. And showing you Tony's 3D. And I think we're actually going to go pull out some rim cylinders. And some Euro cylinders. Just to pick a couple extra locks. Again, it was kind of a long video. That's why I kind of did the fast forward and cut some of the sound out. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the rest of the silent movie.